Hey guys, Hallie with Keep It Dirty Off Road. Today I got John with me. How are you guys? John here from Dirt Days. What's your Instagram handle, John? John Kilborn. Isn't it at Kilborn John? Oh, John, yeah, Kilborn <laughs> John, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bloody hell. And today we're gonna do a tutorial on foreskin. We're not docking, we're talking about foreskin. Just because we're both foreigners, Mexican and Australian here, doesn't mean we're gonna be playing with foreskin and shit. It's foreskin, foreskin. Foreskin. Yeah. Yes. And we got Ethan here too. I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm trying to see if I can watch anime. What? Anime? Anime. Si anime. Anime. Don't watch you porn in the truck, bud. It's not porn, it's anime. It's anime. It's anime. anime. Never heard of it. Japanimation? It's that is girls. porn. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're a little young for that, aren't you? All right, guys, let's get to it. So, you know, I'm a paid actor. God damn it. <laughs> We're doing an episode on Force Kid, and you're talking about being paid. <laughs> Before we get into how to do it, why don't we go over some of the options of what you could do. And it's a long list, and this is all on, uh, what's the name of the website that has all this? If you just Google F-150 Raptor Forescan codes, this will pop up. It comes as a spreadsheet and tells you what it is and what the codes are. Like this is the auto stop start. If you want to disable it, you go into your body control module, your FCM. So you find the address code, and Correct. then you change the value. And then everything with an X, you don't touch. On that one, in the BCM module, you go in, you find 726-48-02, uh, and then all you change is the zero. So, so have... for you for you guys that code out there, you're basically changing the binary values yep. for those specific features. And the way Ford does it is all the features are there in a lot of the computer component. They're just enabled and disabled based on the model truck you have. For example, the Raptors don't have the auto folding, but the Platinums do, right? right? The functionality is there. It's just a matter of turning it on. And there's a bunch of stuff on here from DRLs or you can keep your parking lights on. Oh, so if you have like a 2015 or newer and didn't have Sync 3, you could add it. Correct. By enabling. Auto fold Lincoln style. Global window open closed. Double horn disabled. <laughs> yep. There Engine tapes and trans temps. Now that's another one too cool to have because basically what it does, it'll put the actual temperatures on the top of the gauges. Yeah, you see how you got the distance to empty? Well, it'll actually put the numbers on top of the, you see where it says C and H, it'll tell you what the temperature is. Now looking through here. Fake engine noise. And we're definitely <laughs> disabling that. Heated and cooled icons in the home screen. It'll, it'll, add, add, it right it'll add it right there so you can hit the cold and the warm straight on the, off you. Now, you want to know something weird that the 19s and 20s have? See, that's my heated steering wheel button. Yeah. It's not in the climate settings. In that's something that makes no sense on the 19s and 20s where the heated steering wheel button is missing from right here. Secure idle enabled. If you hop out with your key, it'll idle. No, they can't put it into gear. I know that that's some not standard on the 17s and 18s because mine, you could do it. But I think that's standard on the 19s. Yeah, because I, I don't know. We've tried it before, right, Ethan? Where we try to put it in drive when we couldn't. I have a real truck with a real motor. That's all busted up and slow. Still runs. Yeah, but it's slow. Sounds good. <laughs> That's all you got is sound. <laughs> so let's go over what you need to actually do this, right? So you need okay. to buy... You need this. It's an OBD2 yep. diagnostics mm. interface. This one's specific for Forescan. It's, I think all, Forescan only supports this one, the OBD2. Yeah, thing. so and what you want, you want one that has the switch with a HS and an MS to read the different modules. Okay, I think it's like 20 bucks off uh, Amazon. Okay, and what we'll do guys is we'll put find this piece and we'll put it on our Amazon page so that you guys can find the easy. How do you know which one is HS and which one is SS? H HS is towards. Okay, towards? Yeah. Do you know if this will work on an Apple or do you have to have a PC? No, I'm sure it will. It's just a Foreskins program, I'm sure it will open on, on an Apple for sure. Yeah. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's get, okay. let's get set up. Go turn the truck off. It's got to be in mission on. So you need it power on, right? Yep. Here, this is the Foreskins symbol. See it? Right there. That's the Foreskins, that's what it looks like. So double Foreskin, not Foreskin. All right, so it's going to ask you to make sure it's on HS. So make sure, it's, yep, it's on HS. Yep, it's on HS, yep. which is closest to the cable. So I'll hit OK. It's reading it. it. comes up with all this information there with VIN number and everything. You could use this to check codes too, right? Correct. But so now it's asking codes. us to switch to MS. Now we switch to MS. Now it's going to read the rest of the modules. So it's asking me if I want to save this. Yes. Which is yes. So let's save. Correct. Before you start, 
you want to save each individual module too or so you can go back in and replace that module if you fuck something up it's reddit so now we're going to come up here to this one here Cheers. underneath the wrench and then this is a list of all the modules the ones you want to mess with are the ones that has as built do you see how it has uh, the body control module you see how there's a few of them there there's a uh, there's an as built and then uh, one that says uh, module configuration you always want to click on the as built one so first why don't we change i kind of like the idea of keeping those stock leds on so why don't we try that one that's Read bcm the bcm which is body control Right. So, and there's two codes on here, 726, yep. 26, So right now you want to go click on the B, the body control module, which is the BCM, as built. So we highlight that. And we're going to come all the way down the bottom here to yep. see the play button down here, the blue button. We're going to hit that. And then you're going to move, it says, asking us to move it to HS. There it goes. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's see if that So works. yeah, be careful when you're hitting the button to hold the cable so you don't knock it out like all I just right, did. All right, so I hit, so now we're just going to, Hit OK. Now it's reading the body control module. It's going to come up with everything we can adjust on it. Okay, there we are. Now we're in. Now we can adjust all the values. You want to come down here and it's see where it says save all. Hit save all. And then I'll come in here. Hello BCM. So that's his BCM module that's original as it came from the factory. So if you make a mistake or screw something up, I can go back in and pull this up and it'll put it back factory stuff as you can see i've done a lot of bcms and people's trucks so, so damn now, you get around a lot with this so, foreskin uh, yeah. well everyone wants it done <laughs> you well, want a lot the of foreskin done? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're saying Come on, right? man they all want their foreskin <laughs> done no wonder they call you keep it dirty <laughs> <laughs> all right so now what's our what's our first setting so we're gonna do the uh parking lights on which is basically the raptor leds on so that's 726 2602. There it is, 2602, right there. Okay, okay so yes. which one does it say to, to, to adjust? Second digit to a one. Okay, so get this zero here, we'll highlight it, and we'll hit a one. Okay, now okay. it has two codes on here. The other one is 726 5001. We have to adjust both? Yep. Okay, so the next one is 726 5001. And we're changing the first two digits and it's right now it's one zero right and this yeah. is asking us to change it to zero one zero one we'll highlight those first two i'll hit zero one and now, see it's done do you have to hit right after every time you no, write one of these no after we finish with the bcm module okay. see some of them have different modules this one i believe only requires the bcm module all right that's it for these so let's go ahead and write the okay so now you come down the very bottom here where that's where we saved it. Now we're going to hit right all. Click it. We go up here and hit yes. Yes. Just a bunch of warnings. Is the truck going to go all funky on me here? Nope. Yeah, so the lights are flashing. It's doing <clears> something. <throat> okay. So for everything to take an effect, at the end, you need to remember before you unplug everything, push the button to turn the truck off and then back on. And then that'll save. That'll put everything into active. We did the parking light stock LED. That's all BCM. Out of four mils in Lincoln style, which that yep. requires us going into the PDM. So why don't we do that? Let's go to the PDM. All right. So now, now once you finish in the BDM, you're going to come down here to the stop button and hit stop. See, now it says process complete. We're out of that one. So now we're going to come back up here, up to the very top here, where it says config and programming. Click on that. And that brings us back out to all our modules. So now what module do we need now? We need PDM module. So PDM. Okay, so we got PDM right here. You got PDM. You got two PDMs. You always want to click on the as built one. We'll click on the as built. We come back down here to the play button. Hit play. And it's asking us to switch it to MS. So now we're going to switch the switch down there. And to warnings we hit okay it's like are you sure you know what the fuck you're doing yeah pretty much what it is telling you you know warning that you could mess things up but that's why you always save before you do anything you always save that module you're gonna hit save all again save all you're gonna go and type in hello what's this pdm right yes pdm so now it just saved his factory settings on that one now for this one, we need to do 7410301. The second and third character get changed to 84. Eight, there four. we go. So you guys see, 84. And the next one is 7411201. Okay. And we change the first character to an F. To an F. Okay. Now, anything else in the PDM? Let's take a look. Ethan, here. <laughs> Stop watching porn and help. Stop. Let's start at the top where we start. So let's go back up. 
So which one did we start with? We did the LEDs. So that's all BCM, BCM. right? So that's good. That's done. So move down to the next one we, we, we started the next on. next one was... Lincoln, no, Lincoln style. Yeah, so we just did the two PDMs. So yeah, if we hit save on that, we should... So let's hit right. So this is a good idea to... Yeah. Separate the mount, just only do one. one at a time. Okay, so we hit right. Warning, yes. We have to turn off the truck once it does the right. No, at the at the very end. You could do it each time, but I just do it at the end. Once I finish programming, I'll turn the truck off and back on. Not start it, just to accessory mode. Okay, so that's it. So let's go back out. We'll hit the stop button. Okay, now what's the next one on that? All right, let's look at some of the other stuff. Double Honkhorn, disable that's something you guys may want to do. Engine champs, transmission to fake engine noise, uh, heating and cool that, secure idle. Okay. So like I said, that looks like the 20s, look at that, 4201. The 20s already have secure idle enabled. Yep, enabled, correct. By default. Yep, so that's kind of cool. Okay, what's the next stuff? Next one is global window open and close. We already did the BCMs, yep. so let's go back into DDM. Okay, engine tramps and tranny. Let's go to IPC. Trans steps and coolers, is, it gives you four options, but it says use if you have trailer brake controller and turbos. Yeah, do you have that? Yes. So okay, that's the so only that's one, the we, one we use. Yeah. That's the only one we change. Yeah. So this, you have to pay attention to the notes. Some of them only change one value, while, like this one, and you have to pick it based on the features you have. And others, you change all values, right? Like this one, you have to change all of these for it to work. Now, the good thing is, guys, if you got a 2020 Raptor and you mess up, you forget to save any of your modules, Hilo will be able to send you his his stock values and it'll be the same. You can So if you forget to save it, you can send him your file and he can upload it and it'll be stock. Cool, yeah. that one did some stuff. Yeah. Well, it's the IPC module. Yeah, and you can already see Oh yeah, there time. you go. So. Fake, the big one, fake engine noise disable. We need to be in the ACM and the DSP for this one. And nice. I think this says that 2018 Lar Lariat models may require this also. So I think it's only the first one we have to do. Yeah, so ACM. Now this next one we probably want to do is the heated and cooled icons and heated steering wheel icons on home screen. All right now we should be able to see it over here now once this finishes up. No, it won't yeah, I see it rebooted. Yeah, but. I don't know if it'll be on take effect until yeah. we turn the truck on Watch. and off. But see, it's already rebooted it, so it is yeah. taking effect. There, there they are. are. Yep, they're on there. Right there. The heated and the... Right there. Sweet. We already know secure idle is enabled. New we booting, we already have that. I think that's it. Okay, so now to get out, you want to go back up here to the car icon with the, with the eye. Hit that. And to finish out, you come down the bottom and you're going to hit that button that, to disconnect from the car click disconnect and it says disconnected so now we can unplug it and turn the car off right away back on yep not fully not fully on right i'm gonna do no fully no, on. no no oh. i'm no, gonna do fully on so we can get some fucking air in here all right so i see my gauges my... i don't think there is oil pressure if i remember right it's just the oil temp and the trans temp that gets enabled correct the 17s and 19s you have the option to change the turbo to trans on the 19s and 20s your only way to see it is in the gauge views, like here. We've already yep. confirmed some of the other stuff, right? Like this stuff here. We have yep. those icons there, so that's so all done. So got the heated seat, so that's the heat. And that's the cooling. Yep. So I'm going to turn the cooling on. There you go, you can see it. Yep, and perfect. We've got the heated steering wheel right there, it's on. But that's only for gay people. Now, I'm wanting... <laughs> Come You've on. never been in cold weather, have you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Climb it. I want to see it again. You still don't get this stupid heated button, which is stupid for the 20s. That sh there should be a heated steering wheel button right there. Let's go take a look outside. Yeah. Well, let's turn it off because you're going to need the remote to... So right now the truck is on, but it's not in drive. Turn them all off. Step on the brake and put it in drive. Yeah, that's the, that's the secure <laughs> idle. Yeah, the secure idle's already on. <laughs> okay, go yeah. ahead and do it. There's your, there's your folding mirrors. Hold it, there's the mirror, of course. You missed, you missed both of them. Okay, come on. So stay on your mind so you can get, oh, hold the remote up. So press the... There, there you go. go. And it's the front two windows. Correct, yeah, it's only the front. So then to line it up, and if you want to stop it, so you press it once and hold it down. Go on up and you want to stop it, bam, hit the key again. Nice. And you can stop it wherever you want. The mirrors, mirrors will pop out when you hop in and start. hit the start button. 
There's the mirrors. There. Can you notice if the noise is gone? We have the little microphone set up in the middle. We should be able to tell if the sound changes. Oh yeah, you can tell the difference. Normally there's like a little rumble on the back. Oh really? Yeah, there's a little extra rumble that you put back in there. What is that supposed to be for? V6s don't sound cool, so they gotta make them sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, big difference. There's big difference. difference? There's a difference. Thing is, we since we did the cutoff exhaust, it already changed the way the engine sounds, right? Yeah. So yeah, you can already tell that the fake engine noise is gone. That's I fucking good. hate it. Well, but, you don't have to listen to it no more. And I, I think it sounds better. You don't need to make this thing sound cool. Well, now it just sounds like with a Honda Civic with the exhaust gone. <laughs> That's the only oh. difference that sounds to me. That's okay. I'll take the performance over the noise any day. I don't like noise anyway. That's why you, that's why this truck doesn't have a performance exhaust because all it is is noise. And noise gets annoying when you're out on the trails for eight hours all day. Yeah, yeah but if you go on fast, you don't hear it. Yeah, you do. It's on the V8s, you do. On these, you just oh. hear a, you hear the lawnmower. I don't go that slow. <laughs> Hold on, let me try something. If it, if I'm in drive, does do they come on? Yeah, there you go. Your truck's got to be in drive. Yeah, so when you go in drive, they come on. Motion side. We should <laughs> slow motion this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll bring you some more tutorials on... If you want to know anything else, put it down in the comments. And me and Helio will do a picture, a video on what to do. This guy, it's like he's done a YouTube video before. Either that or you watched a bunch. Hey, I'm a paid actor, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks. He ain't leaving until he pays me, because I just switched it off. We said no docking. Docking? <laughs> I don't know what language you're talking. You don't know what docking is? I talk pesos. You know what docking is, though, right? Because we're talking foreskin. Yeah, but I ain't talking nothing with you. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys, again, like he said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. John's gonna be helping us do more content on the Gen 1. So this is John's Gen 1 with my spare tire because John's a madman. <laughs> We're gonna be doing more content on John's truck as he's basically doing mods on it, rehabbing it. He's a Baja all the time, so expect to see this quite a bit on the channel as he breaks stuff. Wow. How to repair Gen 1. Well, they don't need no repairing. That's steel. This is aluminum. Only the pot, only the cab's aluminum, dude. And the bed. Part of the bed. Have a look, it's sagging. No, no, <laughs> this one's not sagging. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you. We'll see you guys on the next one.